today's video, I'm talking about spring accessories, the shoes, bags, and jewelry that are going to make your style sing in spring. This is Netta. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here and I'm so excited to talk about spring accessories today. If you are new to this channel, um, I focus on style over 40. How to be intentional in your style, how to make the right choices, and how to feel confident in what you wear every single day. So if that sounds like you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Don't go anywhere without hitting it. It would make my day and I promise I'm going to continue to be here every Tuesday, every Friday, um, really helping you on with your style style and cheering you on with your style. So very excited to talk about spring accessories today because accessories are where the magic happens with outfits. You can have a wardrobe full of basics, the essentials that I talk about in my Fashion Essentials Over 40 Wardrobe Guide. If you want to go to netamanley.com slash essentials, you can find that uh, wardrobe guide there and it's got checklists for you to use in your closet it's got a catalog um, for you to shop and it's even got suggestions by decade of life so that you can really pick the essentials that are going to flatter you the most wherever you're at in your life so anyway um if you start with essentials and you add accessories you've got great style like that is such an easy simple formula if you want to just streamline the whole process of getting dressed accessories are that critical they can really be our, our choice of accessories is a real strong indicator of our personal style and and our preferences right so you you can tell a lot by a woman from her accessories her shoes her jewelry her bag all of the things so you can tell that I like pearls from this pearl necklace. But uh, okay, so I, anyway, I can't wait to talk about um, the accessories, the trends, the things that you're gonna see in stores in the spring season and how we can translate those to our lives, you know, and, and wear them in our actual lives and also show you different options at different price points. So the first topic I wanna cover is jewelry. Jewelry is so, so, so fun this season. So I am I'm excited to show you some of the jewelry trends that are happening and kind of dive into what we're gonna be looking at when it comes to jewelry. Clearly, pearls are one of the, the key jewelry trends that we're seeing. So Simone Rocha showed it like in such a glam and over the top way. I'm gonna show you, wait, show you right here, show you an image. Um, where she has this beautiful little pearl bag and this dress that's got pearl trim on it. But one of the ways to wear pearls over 40, so you know, there are things that work better at different at different ages, right? So with pearls, because they're such a classic and and potentially um, almost almost too classic of a of a material to use in jewelry, you really want the pearls that you choose to be really modern, either really sleek and minimal or really over the top. A simple strand of pearls, while it's very classic and very appropriate for some settings, is definitely not the most contemporary way to wear pearls. And it can almost, almost look matronly, unless you're layering your pearls with other, you know, um, necklaces, you're wearing it as part of a layered look, you're adding other elements to it, um, or you're wearing it with something really like a little bit more contemporary, a little bit more minimal, a little bit more modern, but just a simple strand of pearls can, can seem a little bit mature. So you really want pearls that are contemporary, that are either over the top or a little bit minimal and very, very modern. And there's no, there's no frump factor or there's no um, real classicness to these pieces. They are really fun, trendy pieces. So that's really the most contemporary way to wear pearls, in my opinion. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a couple of examples of pearl jewelry that I think is so trendy, fun, updated, contemporary, and, and just really, really cool at different price points. So I love these Arco earrings. They're um, $106. They're just a really cool kind of swirly shape with just one pearl at the end. I think those are amazing and really, really um, fun, different way to wear this classic pearl. Um, the Kylie earrings from Petite Moments, um, $30, so they're a little bit more reasonable. They've got that pearl drop, really, really cute, really pretty. Um, just again, um, a, a contemporary way to wear the pearl look. And there are, I have so many on this list, so definitely check my um, trends catalog below because I've got options for every budget from Target to, um, you know, the more expensive brands. Um, I I just, I, I love this 
necklace from Bobble Bar that's got a, a pearl initial on a, on a simple gold chain. So you're combining the chain detail, which is a big trend for spring with a pearl initial. Love it. Um, I love, I mean, oh my gosh, there's just so many cute ones here. I love the Tory Burch Peapod pee, pee pearl earrings. Those are so cute. They're just like adorable. Um, I like these little Lola pearl earrings. Of course, I love the name because it's my daughter's name, $32 from Made Well. Those are super, super cute. So just lots of fun and different ways to wear pearls this season at different price points and for different styles. So whether your style is romantic or minimal or, you know, uh, boho, there is a pearl accessory out there for you. Okay, another trend I really like are these little colorful beachy beads. These are so affordable and so fun and so different and definitely a little less serious than some of the other trends that are out there because let's face it, a lot of jewelry trends are kind of stuffy. Um, and these are just fun and casual. Like these are the kinds of things, I live in Daytona Beach, these are the kinds of things that we see at souvenir shops and at beach shops, but a little bit more elevated. So colorful beachy beads like the kinds you used to wear you know in high school or whatever are are back so this little set here um from uh, bp at nordstrom 15 dollars for these three necklaces you can't beat that you can layer them or wear them separately but these you know colorful fun beachy looking beads are a great way to add interest or color to any outfit. Um, I love this one from Target. It's $14.99. It's got the combination of pearls, chain, and a beachy bead in it for $15. Um, I love that. It also comes in a neutral bead, but I, I like the colorful one because that's the trend I'm going for. A little bit on the higher end is this colorful necklace with um, the tassels. I just I, I love this one. I think it's so, so, so pretty. Um, again, all of these pieces are linked below. This Kendra Scott um, blue bead necklace with the little pearls on it is, um, or little, looks like little crystals on it. Super, super cute. So again, just an easy way, like if you've got lots of casual outfits or you have lots of neutral outfits, you can add just a little bit of touch of color without really putting a lot of thought into it by adding some of these beaded accessories. Another thing I love for spring are statement earrings. These earrings are over the top. You know I like big earrings. I'm generally a big earring person. Um, I don't usually do big earrings and a big necklace together, although who knows, that might happen in the next in a couple of seasons. But there are just amazing dramatic earrings that are, they used to call these shoulder dusters or chandeliers, but these are earrings that can go all the way down to your shoulders and just really bring drama to whatever you're wearing. Um, there are also a lot of mismatched earrings in stores, which is another kind of fun trend. So you've got one long dramatic earring and one shorter earring. So this is something that, I mean, I, it's so funny because I, as much as I say my style is whimsical and a little funky, this is a little out of the box for me. And so I'm, I'm, I'm letting my eye adjust to it. I'll see how I feel about this in a couple of months, but I'm seeing it everywhere and I'm starting to warm up to the idea. So whether you just want to do a statement earring or whether you want to do a mismatch statement earring, it's up to you. I'm going to show you a couple of different options. These are, um, these tassel earrings are really, really cute. $28, you know, reasonable. Um, the mismatched crystal drop earrings from J. Crew. these are $20. So this is these are mismatched, but they're not dramatically mismatched like the tassel and, and the stud kind of thing. They're a little bit more subtle in the in their mismatchedness. Um, so I, I really like that. There are just like I said, just some amazing amazing earrings in that mismatched style. I love these um, Oscar de Lorenza. These are a little bit more high end. These pearl statement earrings with the, the so they've combined the pearls they combine the statement earrings these huge they call them the starburst pearl starburst drop earrings they're 270 those are incredible um again combining pearls with a statement earring these lily sadugi uh, jellyfish pearl earrings those are so so cool and then i love this um mismatched set barrier mismatched earrings from Jewels by Martha Calvo, $132. Those are incredible. They're just they're just so cool. Like if I were to wear mismatched earrings, I think those would be the earrings. I just I think they're amazing. So love this mismatch statement jewelry uh, trend. I'm, 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 tr I'm getting on board with it. The more I look at it, the more I like it. Let me know how you feel about mismatched earrings in the comments below. Um, but I, I, I love it. I think it's really interesting. Okay, so we've seen a lot of polished metals in the last few years or, or, or simple, sleek metals. And this season, we're also seeing 
using hammered and textured metals. So, you know, gold and silver with that hammered look or that textured look that kind of makes it a little bit of an update for the season. So seeing a lot of that in all different types of jewelry. And so I'm going to show you a couple of examples. I love these um, earrings from um, made well, actually, these are not from made well. I don't, I, I'll, I'll put the, the name of the brand in the description box, but these incredible pearl drop earrings, like they're like a Baroque pearl in an, in an amazing color with these hammered gold kind of discs. I just, I love, love, love that look. Very contemporary. Again, this is something you can find everywhere. This, um, necklace from Target, it's the hammered, worn hammered metal multi shapes pendant necklace, $15. And you've got, um, I think that's gold and silver there looks like it but that that hammered metal look that's so contemporary and cool at a very very reasonable price um, they also have earrings in it they've got hammered metal hoops so target is a great source for some of these kind of you know fun trendy accessories that you may may or may not be 100 percent on board with so hammered metal is definitely a top jewelry accessory or top jewelry trend for the season Okay, another jewelry trend, um, and I mentioned this in my um, spring trends video in general, but chains, 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 right? So my favorite chain look is this Victoria Beckham um, really, really chunky chain necklace with a pendant. So these chain necklaces with pendants are a really key look for spring, and I love it, love it, love it, love it. I love this one from Electric Picks that's got a little heart on it. It's super cute, $118. I think that is so pretty, but probably Probably my favorite chain that I've seen this season is from Revolve, the Paulette necklace um, from a brand called Dorsey. It's gold and silver. I love that because, I, first of all, it's such a fun and funky and different look, but it also allows you to wear it with your gold pieces and your silver pieces. So I love that. But the chunky chain, especially a chunky chain necklace, really heavy, really weighty chain necklace with a pendant is another key trend that is available at all price points. So definitely check my catalog below for lots of options for each of these pieces. The next trend I want to talk about is in bags. So bags are one extreme or the other this season. We're either seeing over the top, really, really, really large bags or over the top, really, really, really tiny bags. So I'm going to show you a couple of large bags. I love, love, love this Valentino large bag. I think it's one of the key looks of the season. It's huge. I mean, you could carry a small child in your bag if you know if you need didn't want to carry your child on your hip, you can put your child in your Valentino bag. <laughs> that sounds so wrong, but these bags are so big. But I mean, if you, you know, if, if you want to carry everything and anything in your bag, these are these are your pick. And, and some of them are just gorgeous. So this Valentino one is beautiful. I also really, really love this Max Mara large tote. Of course, you can find um, a beautiful large tote at every price. So I'm going to show you one here that I absolutely love. I think it's so elegant. Love the shape, love the color, love the details. Um, and Again, all of these things are linked in my catalog below. So large bags are one of the key trends. Now the thing is, we're seeing some of these slouchy styles, but we're also seeing structured styles. So slouchy bags, structured bags, they're all over the place when it comes to bag silhouettes this year. So, you know, we were seeing medium sized top handle structured ladylike bags, and then we're seeing these gargantuan totes, right? So you need to decide based on your body's proportion and based on just your preferences, your lifestyle, all of it, what kind of bag trend you want to buy into. Okay, let's look at the tiny bags because I think they're so interesting and and almost comical. Okay, I'm looking at the tiny, tiny little microscopic Fendi bag that looks like a little eyelet puff of fabric. Um, super expensive. Just because it's tiny doesn't mean it's not going to be expensive, right? So that's a tiny bag. We all know that Jacquemus, I think that's how you say it, started that tiny trend bag or tiny bag trend several years ago. You could barely maybe fit a lipstick and a credit card in them. That's it. But now we're seeing um, tiny bags again. But what we're really seeing that's really unique this year is sort of like a tiny crossbody, almost like a lanyard um, or a, a bag that you would just carry your phone, a credit card, and lipstick in. They are super simple. And honestly, these are great, like the wristlets that we've had the last several years, which is just a tiny little bag that you just run in, you know, you're running into a restaurant or running into a store and you only need a couple of things. These are great substitutes for that type of bag. And instead of wearing it on your shoulder, you wear it around your neck. So these neck bags, necklace bags are a really interesting 
interesting and key trend for this season. So again, like all of these things, they come in different different price points. So the Chanel one is the one that kind of inspired it. Here you're seeing it like on a belt um, and, you know, very, very cool look. But it's Chanel and so it's very expensive and it's obviously it's tiny this is not a super practical bag this is this is more like a runway moment than a real life moment let's face it right most of us have things we actually need to put in our bags so I'm going to show you a couple that are a little bit more um, practical and also budget friendly so this one from Bandelier is about 125 I think I love you know it's just a simple kind of like phone shaped bag that you could just carry your your everyday minimal things in and run into the store or run errands or do whatever it is you're doing um and it it like like these other bags it goes around your neck which is really cool um this bolo bag um i love it's a little bit it's got a, a kind of a twist on the bolo tie and but it's a bag and you wear it around your neck like a necklace just so fun so funky uh, kind of a cool trend but also can be a really practical and wearable trend if you get one in the right size you're just holding your essentials in it you're running around town you don't have to be weighed down by a heavy bag that can give you shoulder pain or back pain or aches and pains instead you can um you can just wear it around your neck and um, be hands-free and run about your day. So I, I, I love that, that there's a little bit of a practicality to this trend. So again, we had two really contrasting things with bags. We had really, really big and baggy uh, or, or big and structured. And then we had tiny. Same thing with shoes. Shoes were either chunky or they were delicate and sleek and, and simple. So let me give you a couple of um, the shoe, the key shoe trends that I saw this season. So the the kind of 90s inspired, you know those Steve Madden black slides that everybody wore in the 90s? Oh my goodness, they are back. Um, and you know, they're they're slightly updated, but you know, not a lot. So they don't have the the stretchy band at the top, although I think I have spotted those. Um, but in rubber or whatever material you're finding in these thick, chunky sold slides. So Gucci is is the is the brand that first came out with them. The Gucci brands are you know the ones that are popularizing them right now. Um, they're 350. They're these rubber slides. They kind of look like a Dr. Scholl sandal. Does anyone remember Dr. Scholl sandals? Um, but they're rubber. They come in different colors. They're really kind of fun. They're not they're not really my style, but but they're fun. Um, so that is kind of uh, a, a different different shoe silhouette for the season. Again, I'm gonna show you that um, it's all over the place. So whatever you like, it's probably out there. Um, now there are these Free People Harbor platforms. These are under $100. So this is their kind of version of the Gucci. Obviously not exactly the same thing, but this is exactly like the Steve Madden, but not in black. I mean, it's got a thick rubber sole and then a stretchy strap across the foot, right? Like this is what everybody wore back in 1995. Um, Okay, another thing back from the 90s is I used to have these exact shoes. I think they were from Chinese Laundry or something, but a pair of black velvet or black suede platform sandals. So the go, you know, the pair that is is, you know, starting the whole trend is from Prada. Um, they're about $900 um, and they're a beautiful but actually kind of wearable black platform sandal, right? Again, I had a pair very similar to these in my wardrobe for years. I wish I still had them. Um, but there are a lot of other options um, that are more affordable than the Prada version. These are from Coach. They're on sale for $90. They were $150 before. But these um, Serena block heeled platform sandals, again, the heel is, is chunky and it's not a super high platform on these. So they're, they're really kind of wearable. If you want something a little higher these Teresa platform sandals from Chinese Laundry um, 60 uh, 6995 so pretty affordable um, and that's a fun way to wear that that heel um, that platform black suede platform hand sandal trend um, I love shoots shoots is one of my favorite brands for shoes and they're very um, elegant trendy different unique without being crazy expensive 
they're not super inexpensive, but they're not really that expensive. So these shoots, Christian embellished platform sandals. I love these. I think these are like $120, but I'll post all the details in the information below, all the details about these, but love these chunky platform sandals in black. And if you're going to go for something with a platform like that, these are probably going to be um, one of the more versatile picks that you can make. Um, yeah, so I love these. They're, I just think that the shoots ones, the shoots ones are probably my favorite. I like that the way the strap is. Uh, we're also seeing a lot of like the flat forms as they call them. So basically like an elevated platform sandal um, and these are super easy to wear. They can be really comfortable. They can give you height without a heel, heel feeling. And we're seeing them in every color, in every style, at every price point. So love that style as well. These are also from Shoots, the Christian embellished platform sandal. Actually, these are the Christian. The other ones um, have, a different, have a different girl name. I'll put those below. Um, but they're embellished platform sandals. They've got like that espadrille sole. Those are really, really cool. Um, these from Steve Madden, the Care platform wedge sandal are super colorful and fun so you've got options in um, sandals if you don't want to do a black suede or a black velvety looking sandal okay the other extreme so we've seen these chunky these funky these really um thick platform sandals they've also got these really delicate really pointy toe really ladylike and feminine kitten heeled shoes. So that's another big trend that is very, very much the opposite of the uh, block heeled sandal trend. So um, I love these from Valentino. They're ridiculously beautiful and elegant. They've got the little strap across the top. They've got the bigger studs than the former rock studs. And then they've got the really, really cool heel. So this Valentino um, kitten heeled pump in a nude color, that's, that's a key thing, that kitten heeled pump in a nude color. Again, like with the pearls, you really wanna be intentional about this because you want to pick a kitten heeled pump that does not look matronly. It looks contemporary, it looks modern, it looks fresh, it doesn't look like you know, a, a work pump, you know? So um, this is a great knockoff, actually. INC's Karma Pointed Toe Stud Kitten Heeled Sandals. These are um, $89.50 regularly. When I shot this video, they were less than $60 on sale. Look like the Valentino ones a lot. And um, they're a contemporary kitten heeled pump. I have a couple of other options for nude kitten heeled pumps in my catalog, so you can check those out that are all contemporary and cool and have that modern styling that we're looking for. Another really delicate shoe is the Prada um, sandal that is like everywhere. I love this little bow detail on the side, the double strap bow sandal. They're $850 from Prada. They're just so cool. And um, it's very simple, very sleek, very um, easy to wear. It's got a little heel, um, maybe too little of a heel, you know, but they can get stuck in things, but just a really, really cool and very trendy look. Um, and then I found this one from a brand called Sana, the Oscar ankle strap sandal for less than $150. Not cheap, but definitely not $850. And you can find this, this similar style sandal at every price point. And so a very delicate, very simple, very strappy sandal with a little kitten heel is a key trend for spring. And I think that was it with my shoe trends. Let me see if there's anything else I'm missing. Oh my goodness, there were so many. So the, the nude kitten heeled sandal, the delicate little kitten heeled sandal, the, the chunky rubber, I, I don't know what to call them, rubber platform throwback 90 sandals, and then the, uh, the black or whatever your color suede um, sandal, platform sandal. That's kind of a throwback to, again, the 90s, but also before that, the 40s. So a lot of, of historic references here. Again, 70s, 80s, 90s showing up really, really big in style in 2021. Maybe we just all want to go back in time. I don't know what's going on, but I love it. Anyway, I hope that this was fun, that you learned a lot about spring accessories and that you are excited to try some of the new things that are coming up for spring 2021. Let me know what your favorite trend was. Was it the shoe trend, the bags, one of the shoe trends, the bags, or the jewelry trend? Like, what's your favorite? What are you thinking of trying? And what are you like? Absolutely not. I would never wear that. That is so gross. I can't even believe she mentioned it. So can't wait to hear. Um, let's have a debate and, and fun talking about accessories in the comments below. And I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, 
the subscribe button, the notification bell, the leave a comment, everything. And I appreciate you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.